स्पोर्ट्स नेटवर्क और डिजनी प्लस हॉटस्टार पे फॉर द स्टार्ट ऑफ द थर्टींथ एडिशन ऑफ द आईसीसी मेंस क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप 2023 का ये एडिशन मेजबानी कर रहा है हमारा देश भारत एंड आज सबसे पहले आपको दिखाते हैं कि क्या है हमारी टॉप स्टोरीज आफ्टरनून देस नो बिगर प्राइज इन क्रिकेट देन दिस द आईसीसी मेन्स क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप ट्वेंटी almost 5 decades of legacy 12 editions 6 champions this year it gets bigger 10 venues host 48 matches billions around the globe will follow the action in india cricket's not just a sport it's life and over the next 45 days we'll witness joy and anguish in equal measure there's immense pride in representing your nation I know what it means to represent my country. We'll witness acts of bravery, of power, a galaxy of superstars will leave us in wonder. We'll witness passion on the field, in the stands, on the streets and in every home. Behind the competition there's mutual respect in a battle of the best. The World Cup is a stage where heroes are born. and some become legends the best in the world cup go head to head for the ultimate prize 10 teams one prize the ultimate glory without wasting much time let me introduce the contenders introducing the first two teams who know a thing or two about punching above their weight they are ready to go toe to toe with the best Please welcome the captains of Afghanistan and Netherlands Hasmatullah Shahidi and Scott Edwards well, Welcome gentlemen a quick reaction Australia captaining in the World Cup for the first time both of you how are the nerves Uh, Here we go. Let's I think um obviously playing in front of massive crowds in India is just yeah pleasure to be a part of and looking forward to it. Asmatullah uh, honestly I'm not <laughs> that much nervous because I have a good team and I'm excited about it and I will be enjoying it inshallah. Plenty to chat. We request you to take your seats please. <laughs> Up next two Asian rivals When these sides clash there's always fireworks Bangladesh and Sri Lanka please welcome Shakib Al Hasan and Dasun Sanaka Well a quick uh, reaction gentlemen rivals or friends 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 looking forward to it yes of course more to chat take your seats please gentlemen up next two powerhouses of cricket captains of south africa and australia temba bavuma and pat cummins Well Pat you're playing in a country where the passion is for everyone to see looking forward to it I can't wait yeah we always love coming over here um the stadiums always packed they're very noisy it's yeah, it's always a great day and then by you used to playing here yeah looking forward to it again um what is a crazy but fun tour in india have fun we'll chat later and take your seats gentlemen Next up two of the biggest rivals in cricket a rivalry that's seen moments of passion on and off the field iconic moments performances where heroes become legends India and Pakistan Joining us on stage Rohit Sharma and 
Barbarazzo. Well, next, the two best teams of the last edition. They could only be separated by the barest of margins, and they'll kick off in 2023. Please welcome Kane Williamson and Josh Butler. Finally, time to bring on stage the ultimate prize, the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup 2023 trophy. I'd now like to introduce the captain who lifted the trophy in 2019, Owen Morgan. Well, Owen, the trophy is here, the contenders are here, the stage is set. What were your words to Joss Butler when you handed over the baton? Yeah, quite simple, don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Um, Joss is an unbelievably well-respected player and a world-class player and leader um, in, within his own right. So uh, when you pass advice on, it's more through lessons that you've learned yourself and certainly throughout early days of my captaincy. It was about being yourself and being authentic to that. So it was very much to go be himself, lead the way Joss Butler leads and not in the way that any other leader would. Owen, oh, if you can take your seat. <laughs> but Rohit, Wearing the blue jersey, there's always pressure. You're playing at home. How are you approaching this? Yeah, I mean, firstly, uh, very grateful to be uh, leading this team into this World Cup. Uh, you know, I've seen the history of the World Cup being played and the people who have taken part in this World Cup. So I'm quite lucky um, to be leading this team uh, into this World Cup. Uh, it's quite exciting. At the same time, yes, you mentioned about pressure, but um, all these guys are quite used to, uh, you know, going through that pressure, uh, whether it's playing in India or away from India. Uh, pressure is something that is not going to leave, uh, you know, a sportsman. As long as you play the sport, uh, the pressure is always going to be there. So keep that aside, focus on job at hand. I know it's very easy to say that, but uh, it's going to be tough, but I'm sure, uh, you know, we, we prepared really well. And as long as you prepare really well, that gives you a lot of confidence going into uh, any game. There's a trend over the last three World Cups. Uh, teams that have hosted it have won. So that must be something at the back of your mind. Um, not thinking too much about it, honestly. Uh, uh, it has happened in the last three edition of the World Cup. Uh, but all I can say is we're going to try our best, give our best, and uh, enjoy enjoy the tournament. That's that's all I can say at this point in time because, you know, it's it's a pretty long tournament, uh, uh, and I do understand that you can't get too far ahead of yourself. Uh, so it's important for us that we try and focus on one job at a uh, one job at a time, and then move on from there. Just reigning champions in T20 and ODI cricket. Defending is never easy. The atmosphere up and down India is going to be electric. With that becomes pressure, but also opportunity. How do you see it? Uh, yeah, the start of a, a really exciting tournament. Um, I, I don't see us as defending champions. We're very much in the same boat. Now, as, as everybody sat here um, on the eve of the tournament, uh, trying to win it um, and it's a great privilege um, to be captaining the country in, into a World Cup so um, very excited and and honored to be doing that um, and we feel ready we're, we're very excited we all know India is such a fantastic place um, to play cricket um, and we're really excited about the tournament starting tomorrow absolutely Kane I'll come to you uh, New Zealand most consistent side when it comes to World Cups finalists in previous two editions what is the 
key or a secret to being as cons consistent as you guys are? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, like Joss mentioned, you sort of come to a, another event and everybody certainly starts from the same position and, and starts again. And um, you go from tournament to tournament, teams change, opposition um, conditions. So, you know, for us, it's very much um, focusing on the style of cricket that we want to keep committing to and um, that give us the best chance uh, of, of putting out our best performance. And um, it's been nice to have some... Uh, some enjoyable times um, and certainly full of different challenges over um, a number of tournaments that we have been involved in, but we're really excited at, at the challenges that lie ahead for this one and um, the differences that, that that'll bring comparatively to, to other tournaments. Um, a great occasion uh, here in India, um, sports just um, loved by, by so many and it's going to be so um, well supported as well, so we're just looking forward to, to getting involved. For a second, I thought Owen was going to remind Kane of 2019 all over again. Never mind. Babar Azam. Babar, 2017 ke baad, pehla trip, zabardas reception airport pe, aur hospitality kaisa raha, pehle hafte mein? Mere khayal se kaafi achcha hospitality mili hume, aur we are not expecting uh, for this, but uh, I think uh, the way people responding uh, for uh, over, over our team. So everyone enjoyed it. Uh, we are like like uh, for a week in Hyderabad. So we not like we are India. We like uh, we, have a, we are home. Uh, so uh, we are enjoying a uh, lot of time. And uh, I think good. Uh, I think uh, the golden opportunity to everyone to uh, Give us 100% and enjoy the tournament. Do that, uh, Babar. Now to Pat Cummins. Uh, Pat, from a neutral point of view, you saw what happened the last two times the two teams met in a World Cup. India, Pakistan, 90,000 people at the G. You know, and uh, as a neutral from the outside, there'll be a few more thousands for the game here in a, in a week's time. What are your thoughts from the outside? It's amazing. I don't think there's too many events around the world where you feel like half the world's tuning in to watch and whenever India play Pakistan in a World Cup, it seems like one of those moments. So, um, yeah, although you're personally not involved, you feel like you want to watch it and hear about all the commentary and the passion around the game. So it's going to be great that it's at this stadium. You can have over 100,000 people. Well, Roy, at the India-Pakistan, obviously a big clash. Uh, that's in a week's time. But before that, you play two very important matches. Yeah. Uh, Australia and then Afghanistan. Um, you know, that we start in Chennai on the 8th uh, and, and we do understand the importance of every game that you play in this tournament uh, because, you know, it's, it's World Cup and everybody, every team would be looking to play their best cricket. Uh, so you've got to be on the top of your game, on top of your, uh, you know, planning, uh, an understanding of what you need to do as a team. So, yeah, I think, you know, the first two games, you know, it's important that we look at the first game in Chennai, understand what we need to do as a team, uh, go and assess the conditions a little bit, and then try and get your best combination, uh, you know, and then, yeah, then it's game time. It's just about going there and executing your skills, executing what you prepared for all this time, and having trust and belief in whatever you do uh, because you know it's quite challenging when you play such a format where you know you have to play 11 games and you have to be on top of your game all the time so it's important that you break down and then focus on one game at a time because it can be quite draining so it's important that you try and stay fresh so that you're able to make those decisions on the field uh, wisely but Temba, expectations are always high when it comes to South Africa. How are you guys gearing up? Yeah, I think the boys are, well, we are quite excited um, for the challenge for the next coming uh, weeks. Um, guys obviously enjoy coming to India and experiencing everything about the cricket as well as the, as the culture. Um, I think as a team, there's a quiet confidence about the guys who have been playing some good cricket and we've kind of enjoyed going out and trying to express ourselves. So. I guess there will be an opportunity for us to do that over the next coming of coming weeks, and that's exactly what we'll be looking forward to. 
Hasmatullah, uh, you're leading in your first World Cup. Uh, Rashid Khan was uh, quoted in the media saying that this is one of the strongest and fittest Afghanistan teams. Uh, what do you think are your strengths? Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, uh, our main strength is uh, like spin department, but I believe we worked very hard uh, from last couple of years. And uh, we are more uh, like um, we have more strength in the batting also, and uh, we uh, uh, like we did very good in all departments in the past. So uh, we will try our best here. Well, Scott, going to to tour with the best in the world, uh, you you've had a great run right through the qualifiers, coming up here. Can't be a better feeling than that. Yeah, it's obviously uh, a pretty tricky tournament. The qualifiers usually so. Uh, really proud of how the boys went about that and yeah, we, we take a lot of confidence in the way we played there and you know Hopefully bring that into this tournament uh, Now I have to ask Pat Cummins this your first ODI World Cup as captain You lead a side that has a, a great or a country that has a great record at World Cups What it is is it about Australians and ODI World Cups? They just seem to have the knack uh, yeah, I can't take too much credit for many of them. Um, there's a couple of the boys were there in 2015, which um, obviously gives us confidence. But yeah, I don't know. I think we had a really strong era in the early 2000s. Um, I think t uh, one day cricket's a format that's really suited Australian teams of the past. Um, yeah, not only kind of taking the game on with the batting and having some, some good quick bowlers, but even in the field, um, that early kind of 2000s era, I grew up watching. Um, yeah, they were, they were amazing, really athletic. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can carry on. It's a, it's a pretty good history um, we've had in World Cup, so hopefully another one. Well, Dasun, uh, you've come through the qualifiers. Uh, you've had a terrific run, a 13-match uh, winning streak. Uh, Sri Lanka has gone through tough times, but when you look at your ICC record, it's, uh, it's uh, very, very good. What does this mean to your people? Uh, see, excited times for us. Uh, we are you know, struggling a lot in recent past with the injuries, but at the same time, we got some good record uh, with us. Uh, you know, we are looking, we, as a group, we are looking forward for the World Cup and uh, everyone want to make a statement that uh, we are there to, you know, perform well in this tournament. Shakib, no other current player at the moment, has played more World Cups than you. Coincidentally, the last World Cup in India, you were captain. How are Bangladesh preparing for this edition? Yeah, I thought we prepared well, you know, if we talk about last four years since 2009 World Cup, uh, 19 World Cup, uh, we are probably the third or fourth team in, a, in the qualifiers uh, point system. So we, we have done really well uh, as a group. Uh, now it's, it's time for us to, you know, put on a good show in this World Cup. And I think, um, you know, our team is ready and uh, also, you know, the country is expecting little more than what we did previously. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, 2015, Owen and Joss uh, was not quite the World Cup you wanted, but since then you've started a white ball revolution. And uh, it started with you, Owen, so, and uh, Joss is carrying on the legacy, so I want to know your thoughts behind it, how it started, and how do you think the team's carrying on with that? Yeah, here I think to start with, it, it must be said, we, we hit rock bottom before we could do anything. 2015 World Cup in Australia, and New Zealand was, was as bad as it gets. And, and when you consider England white ball cricket, probably since 1992, it's had some really bad times, but this was the worst of it. And with, with any bad situation always comes a great opportunity. And I was very fortunate to be kept on as captain after that. And Andrew Strauss was, was appointed as managing director. So uh, coming in with, with confidence from the top to continue on as captain, but also being empowered to make decisions and take on responsibility in, in, uh, and take the team in a, in a direction that I thought was, was the right way was certainly something that I fed off for a long time. And, you know, it was an unbelievable time, certainly for me, from that period until 2015 to our journey to the final in 2019 that I'll always, always cherish. And Joss, you carrying forward the mantra, you think the boys uh, are all in it together? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the team's been uh, mainly together for a long time, since, since 2015, since the start of that um, sort of revolution that you 
you mentioned, um, and I think you see it right through the game now in England, that the, the young players coming through all play in a certain way and um, are determined to carry on that, that style of play. Um, and I think you know, we know it gives us the best chance of success. We'll, we'll get it wrong at times, um, but we've made peace with that. Um, and it's something we want to continue to strive to do, to, to keep pushing the boundaries. Um, other teams will push you and, and move it on further. So uh, we always want to try and be at the head of that curve as well. Scott, your first game up against Pakistan. Difficult start to the campaign, but one you must be looking forward to. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, all games in this tournament are going to be tricky. But, uh, yeah, obviously Pakistan's uh, a very good side. Um, but, yeah, for us, we're just excited to get this tournament going. And, yeah, that's against Pakistan and Hyderabad. Babur, uh, what do you think is uh, Pakistan's biggest strength? Uh, I think uh, our strength is bowling. Uh, but... Uh, uh, as we know, we are playing last three years but together. Uh, most, most, most of the boys are the same. So I think our bowling, uh, bowling strength is... Well, Shakib, uh, you've been one of the premier all-rounders in uh, world cricket across formats for almost a decade. Does that put extra pressure on you as a captain and player? No, not really. Uh, I think it always inspired me uh, to do better. Uh, Personally, you know, I, I never looked at any, any stats. Uh, it's as long as I'm contributing for the team, uh, team come first, and that, that's the motto throughout my career, and that's how I want to go about it. Well, Hasmatullah, when you play in India, you know, there's a lot of love. There's big support for you. You've got a terrific spin attack. Talk us uh, through that. Uh, yeah, as you said, that we will have a more crowd and more support. We are expecting the same, that the people will come there and support us in the stadium. And also about the spinners, uh, like um, uh, we have a very good quality spinners and the condition is suitable for us and uh, that will be with us. And also uh, with the batting, I believe in this World Cup, uh, we will give a statement about the batting that we can do. Uh, very good, uh, play very good cricket in the batting also. Uh, Rohit, now you've had excellent preparation in the lead into this World Cup and you know, sitting from the outside, the only hamper would be the rain affected games. Does that affect your preparation in any way? Um, no, not really. I mean, we were happy to get those days off. Uh, um, <laughs> looking at the heat uh, and stuff like that, um, you know, we like, I've been talking about it uh, We've been playing a lot of cricket of late. Uh, we played Asia Cup. We played about four games there. Then we played three games against Australia. Um, so that gives us an understanding of, you know, where everyone's at uh, and what we need to do as a team as well. Uh, so, I mean, in the hindsight, yes, I would have loved to play those two games, uh, but can't really do too much uh, when the weather is going to be like that, uh, apart from you know, traveling from one part of the one part of of India to the other part of India, uh, you know, there's nothing much we could have done. But uh, overall, you know, quite happy with how we've come into this tournament, uh, playing a lot of games, playing some good cricket as well. So yeah, I mean, guys are looking really good at at this point in time. Yeah, at Temba, I'll come to you. Um, South Africa has a lot of experienced players in your squad in, in playing in this country. How much of an advantage do you think that is? Yeah, I think, I think that's something that's, um, that's relevant to all the teams. Um, a lot of the teams have guys who play in India, who've done well in India. So I wouldn't really say it's an advantage for us. Um, I think all really we can do is the guys who have that experience and knowledge, they can share it. Um, amongst the team, we'll use it in terms of you know our strategies, our plans. Um, but I wouldn't really say it's an advantage um, unique to us as a team. Well, Dasun, your first match uh, is against South Africa. Now that's a pretty tough match. Are you happy with the preparations? Uh, of course, see, uh, they are a team uh, who peaks at the right time. I, as uh, I think so, yeah. But the preparation has been done. Uh, I think. Uh, my station has joined the camp as well. So, yeah, we got good plans ahead. Ken, uh, you suffered an injury here on this uh, very ground six months ago, and the recovery is nothing short of a miracle. And seeing you back the way you did in those practice matches, it's as if there was no injury in that period at all. 
it must have been frustrating, but must be happy to be back. Yeah, I mean, obviously, no injuries, um, something that you, you want to sort of have to go through and um, all the rehab and bits and pieces that, that come with it. But um, I've been fortunate, really, to, to have uh, recovered reasonably well and just really excited to, to have been named in the squad and, and be sitting here now and excited at the, the prospect of, of playing in another World Cup and, and leading my team as well. So, um, yeah, there's still a little bit of work to, to get through, but it was really good to get back out in the park and, and some of those warm-up games and do a little bit of time in the field. And um, Yeah, it was, it was nice to do that after, you know, some time on the sidelines. Well, Josh, you've got two back-to-back uh, -back trophies, white ball trophies in the cabinet. Uh, what do you think is one of England's biggest strength chasing uh, this third uh, th title on the trot? Yeah, I think first and foremost, we've got some good players, um, which is a, a good place to be. You need good teams. You need guys with experience and, and a bit of X factor. And I think we certainly have that. Um, and mainly, I'd say that experience is, is something that's going to hold us in, in good stead. We've been through those tournaments with both uh, ups and downs along the way. This is a, a long tournament and is sure to be challenged um, in different uh, scenarios and situations both on the field and, and off it as well. So I think we've been through most things as a team uh, and we can sort of um, you know, look at, back at those as reference points uh, as to how to maybe handle them when they come up in the weeks that, that come. Um, but it's always about creating something new. You, know, you can't recreate the, the past. Um, you know, it gives us a nice cushion or some certainty um, that we've been in those situations, but it's all about the start of a new journey and, and creating something new that, that starts tomorrow. Pat, you have a squad littered with all-rounders. How difficult is it to get your preparation right in giving everybody a little bit of game time here and there? Yeah, I think throw some injuries into there as well. Um, yeah, made it a little bit tougher, but the good thing is we've played plenty of games over in South Africa um, against India and even these warm-up games. So it feels like it's all come together in the last week or so. Um, Maxwell, uh, Mitchell Stark, a few others have just kind of come in and, and they're now absolutely game ready. So, um, yeah, it's, I think ODI, you need a few all-rounders um, and, yeah, feel, feel pretty happy with everyone, where everyone's placed at the moment. Yes, one last question uh, from me before I open the floor to the members of the media. Rohit, as hosts of the World Cup, your message uh, to this league of extraordinary gentlemen sitting alongside you. Yeah, I mean, I said it at the start, uh, you know, every, every leader sitting here wants to achieve really, really something special uh, for their country. Uh, and it is something which is very highly prized uh, 50 over World Cup is something that I've always uh, dreamt of, you know, growing up as a child. And I'm sure it's, it's the same for all the guys sitting here as well. Um, one thing I can assure, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it, that, you know, uh, people are going to love this uh, tournament here. Uh, the stadium is going to be jam packed uh, because, you know, people here in India love their cricket. Uh, as much as they love their team, but they love their cricket as well. Uh, but yeah, rest assured, it's going to be a very great, very great tournament. Before we ask the members of the media to ask their questions to the captains, we've got some very special guests who have questions for the captains. The ICC has partnered with UNICEF to use a Cricket World Cup as a platform to improve the lives of children around the world and promote gender, equal, e gender equity. With us today, we have two junior UNICEF uh, ambassadors, Partha and Amar, who are both passionate about their cricket to ask the first two questions. Partha, Pratha, you will go first. And your question is to Rohit Sharma, I believe. What are the most important uh, leadership skills you need to de develop to be a successful captain is is there anything you have had to wor work on yeah i have to work on a lot of things i think firstly uh, being the leader you the first thing you got to understand uh, your teammates uh, you got to understand uh, the strength 
their weaknesses uh, and then give them that freedom to go and play and express because i believe that uh, if if the players have that superb platform without any pressure without any burden uh, you know they can just come out and play the way they want to play uh, so i think our job uh, you know is to make sure that we lay that platform for them and then it's all theirs to go out there and play the game they want to thank you brother amar you have a question for pat cummins hello sir i am amar from class 8 adani vidya mandir i have to ask one hmm. question to you children across india and the world will be glued to watching world cup do you th do you think as player you have a platform to inspire positive change and help those less fortunate how can cricket and sport create a better future for every children uh thanks for that question um i, I know when i was a, a child growing up um i absolutely idolized sports people and cricketers in particular um watching them on tv and i looked up to them and wanted to be like them and emulate what they were doing so I think that's a, a really um, awesome opportunity that we have every time we step out on the field, and I think it's really important, um, you know, that we play the game in the right spirit. Um, and even outside of cricket, you know, we get so many wonderful opportunities. Um, so if, if we can use that platform to help others, especially you know, children that might be up against it, um, to help them out, I think it's really important we do so. Thank you, sir. Well, thanks, uh, thanks a ton, uh, Pratap. And now we'll uh, open it uh, to the media. The floor, the mics will come around, and uh, if you can keep it to one question each, if uh, whoever is asking, thank you. Uh, my question is to uh, Baba Razum. Ten uh, days time, uh, you'll be playing India here. Uh, so, are you already excited about that clash and like uh, how the preparation is going for that match? Like. Uh, yes, uh, we are very excited uh, because uh, we are came first time here and uh, before the uh, 14th uh, uh, match we have a uh, two matches so we are trying to uh, match to match uh, on the day uh, we execute our plans. Uh, yes, we are excited to the India World Cup, India and Pakistan always is big match so everyone waiting for that match so we are also excited. Yeah, hi. Uh, the topic of pressure, it kept coming in the discussion we had. So my question is to all the captains, especially those from the subcontinent and Joss as uh, captain of the def def uh, def I mean, title defending side. What is one thing that you are doing in your team to keep that pressure under check, to block out that pressure? Not reading newspapers, staying off social media. What is that one thing that you are doing to check pressure? Um, yeah, I think um, as Rohit mentioned earlier, there's, there's always a level of expectation and pressure uh, that comes naturally with, with representing your country um, in a World Cup. And I think the, the one thing I always try and remind people is to have a level of acceptance um, that that is there. Um, you know, that's why the room is so full. People have an interest, um, especially here in India where, where cricket is revered more than anywhere else in the world. But um, you know, should enjoy that, accept that. Um, I'm a fan of, of other sports as well and, and know what it's like to, to be a fan watching as well and, and wanting your team to do so well. So uh, we keep that very much as part of something that is there and, and we accept and, and we look after our, our own environment and our own dressing room to, to take pressure away from players and allow them to have fun and express themselves on the field. Hi. Faisal Kamal from AFP India. My question is to Babar. Uh, uh, Babar, Ravi Bhai spoke about hospitality. Rohit uh, talked about packed stadiums. Uh, uh, Shuhay Bakhtar said, when you go to the field, you will be alone with your team. No one will be alone with you. When you come to Hyderabad and the journey will be here, what will be your emotions for you and your team? Can you talk about that? <coughs> To be honest, we also heard this, but when we came to Hyderabad, we got the hospitality, we welcomed people, we 
एयरपोर्ट से लेके जा होटल तक फिर ग्राउंड में और लास्ट मैच में भी जिस तरह क्राउड आया तो वो काफ़ी हमें अच्छा लगा और अच्छा लगता अगर हमारी तरफ से भी फैंस आते तो और ज़्यादा मज़ा आता और कोशिश करेंगे कि हर मैच में ऐसी हमें सपोर्ट मिले हर स्टेडियम में हर मैच में तो इन लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू द मैच ए वन आई जस्ट इंटरप्ट बाबर बिरयानी कैसा था सो वरी बता चुके हैं काफ़ी अच्छी रही क्योंकि हैदराबाद का यही सुना था कि बिरयानी अच्छी है तो खा खा के बिरयानी अच्छा लगा हमारा रोहित क्वेश्चन टू रोहित इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज ऑफ योर कैरियर वॉट इज द चैलेंज इज द होम फैक्टर द पाकिस्तान the world cup and when you see all this what do you feel <laughs> i know what's at stake uh so and the team members the the guys who are part of this team also knows what's at stake so um for us it's just about you know taking everything out now and just focusing on what we want to do as a team uh, not worry about uh the expectations because that's always going to be there not worry about who we are playing uh, and not worry about what is happening elsewhere because it's time now for us to just you know be secluded a little bit and then focus on what we want to do as a team uh rohit uh, mere do sawal hai सवाल ये है चलो एक ही सवाल पूछना तो एक ही सवाल पूछता हूँ लास्ट वर्ल्ड कप था न्यूजीलैंड और इंग्लैंड के बीच फाइनल मैच हुआ टाई हुई सुपर ओवर होगा फिर भी टाई हुई और देन आफ्टर इंग्लैंड को विजेता घोषित किया गया जिस तरह से इंग्लैंड विजेता घोषित हुआ वो दो दो टीमों को साथ विजेता घोषित कर सकते इस बारे में क्या दिखते हैं कैसे होना चाहिए ये मेरा काम नहीं है सर घोषित करना ये मेरा काम नहीं है hi my question is to all of the captains uh, in this era of premier leagues and t20s and shorter version of the game is 50 over world cup is still the pioneer event of cricket uh sorry mike any i mean rohit you can answer yes, if you wish to uh yes <laughs> yeah No, yeah, I mean I think every 4 years um even though with the introduction of um all the T20 competitions, T20 World Cups, um they're still um very much major events, the World Test Championship as well, but um I still think the the ADI World Cup um I don't know if everybody else shares that that same opinion, but it's um you know it's definitely you know, one of the the top events that we can we can play and be involved in. Hi. This is Subodh Mayure from Mitte. My question is for again for Babar. Uh, Babar, except जितने captains बैठे हैं और जो teams खेल रहे हैं इस World Cup में, except Pakistan, I think सभी teams को और सभी players को IPL में खेलने का experience है, pressure show करने का experience है. लेकिन Pakistan बहुत पांच-छह साल के बाद में Indian soil पे खेलेगी. So are you ready for that pressure? आ देखें, ऐसा कोई pressure नहीं है. Similar to Pakistani or Asian conditions हैं और यहाँ पे हमें एक वीक हो गया और जितना भी हमने प्रैक्टिस और प्रैक्टिस मैच खेले हैं इतना डिफरेंस नहीं है बिल्कुल यहाँ पे थोड़ी कि ये है कि बाउंड्री छोटी है मार्जिन नहीं है बॉलर्स के पास अगर थोड़ा सा भी विकेट से थोड़ा सा इधर उधर बॉल होता है तो वो यूटिलाइज़ करता है बैट्समैन तो यहाँ हायर हायर जो है रन ज़्यादा होंगे और उस हिसाब से आपको खेलना पड़ेगा लेकिन कोशिश करेंगे कि अपना बेस्ट ऑन द डे जो है वो अप्लाई uh, करें अपनी जो बेस्ट गेम है उसको एग्जीक्यूट uh, करें ऑन द डे हेलो माय क्वेश्चंस फॉर रोहित आई ओनली अराइव्ड इन इंडिया यस्टरडे एंड आउटसाइड द स्टेडियम हैव नॉट सीन मच साइन दैट अ वर्ल्ड कप हैपनिंग एट ऑल व्हाट इज योर सेंस ऑफ द लेवल ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट इन द कंट्री एज अ होल अबाउट दिस वर्ल्ड कप एवरीवन इज क्वाइट एक्साइटेड um even before uh, you know we got into this warm up games uh, like a month back 
you know, every time we were traveling in India, the talks were all about the World Cup. Uh, and it, it is not unusual in India, it is quite usual and it is quite common that, you know, every, any big event that is supposed to happen in the country, people get really excited and cricket being one of the biggest, the biggest sport in India, uh, I'm not surprised with the excitement that people have. Uh, and it is not spread in one or two cities, it is spread across, uh, you know, the entire country. Uh, anywhere you go, uh, you know, the talk is about the World Cup and people are excited and obviously it's happening after uh, 12 years in India. So, you know, all the more reason for people to be excited and enjoy the tournament. Gentlemen, if we can spread it out a bit, some of the other captains as well. Uh, my question to Ken. Uh, Ken, uh, after the 2019 debacle, have you moved on or that, does that still rankle? Yeah, um, yeah, we're here now at, a, at another competition, which um, is really exciting. I mean, 2019 was a, an amazing tournament. Um, as a side, there was you know, a lot of fond memories and we had a, a huge amount of fun as well. And um, we're looking forward to, to what this one brings and it'll be different um, in so many ways. But we're really excited at, at the challenges that lie ahead and, and starting again at, at another World Cup. Well, that's all uh, we have time for today. Tomorrow, the biggest festival of cricket begins at the largest cricket stadium in the world. A repeat of the 2019 final, England versus New Zealand. It's going to be a roller coaster ride over the next 45 days. All teams fighting for one prize. Who will lift the title on the 19th of November? Well, that will be the million dollar question and uh, we'll end this uh, function with that. But before we go, a big round of applause to the gentleman who will take stage over the next 45 days. One request, uh, the captains will leave first and then uh, the rest can follow. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Pressure. वो एक चीज जिससे कोई बच नहीं सकता है, लेकिन कोयले को हीरे में बदलने के लिए भी pressure की जरूरत होती है. दस कप्तान जहाँ आज हमने देखे इनको ICC Cricket World Cup की शुरुआत के एक पहले और ये एक बहुत ही iconic moment है क्योंकि ये दस के दस कप्तान नर्व जरूर होंगे, लेकिन कोई दिखाएगा नहीं. लेकिन मेज़बान देश भारत के कप्तान रोहित शर्मा कुछ मोमेंट्स थे जहां कुछ सीरियस जवाब मिले लेकिन रोहित बीइंग रोहित कुछ ऐसे मोमेंट्स भी थे जहां रोहित ने उस पूरे ऑडिटोरियम को हंसाया लेकिन एक टेक अवे रोहित ने बात बोली है कि क्रिकेट जो है वो इस देश के लिए धर्म है एंड टीम को तो सबसे ज्यादा सपोर्ट मिलेगा ही लेकिन हर स्टेडियम खचा खच भरा होगा और क्रिकेट के जितने भी मैचेस इन स्टेडियम में देखने को मिलेंगे जो टीम खेल रही है भारत ना भी खेले तो वहां पे आपको वो फैन सपोर्ट जो है वो देखने को मिलेगा आज हमने सारे कैप्टन को देखा एक साथ एक मंच पे लेकिन आज शाम को सात बजे कर्टन उठेगा बिकॉज इट्स कर्टन रेजर टाइम सात से लेकर दस तक इस पूरी आईसीसी वर्ल्ड कप की कहानी आपको दिखाएंगे स्टार स्पोर्ट्स नेटवर्क और डिज्नी प्लस हॉटस्टार पे वॉटर डे इट्स ऑलरेडी बिन मिलेंगे आपसे जल्दी